So in this video I want to talk about the number of ways to arrange indistinguishable objects. And what do I mean by that? Well, I have, uh, let's see, I have nine flags here. And these two white flags, they're the same. So I can't distinguish between the two white flags, and I can't distinguish between the three red flags, and I can't distinguish between the four green flags. So all that really means is if I wanted to mix these up, how many ways could I mix them up and they would all be different. Like if I switch this green flag and this green flag, it would look exactly the same. So maybe you're a lifeguard or something and you have so many flags and you can only make so many flag symbols like this because some of your flags are the same color. So normally, normally what we would do is we say, okay, we have nine objects, and that means there are nine factorial ways to arrange them. Because in the first place you would have nine choices, and to put in the second place you would have eight choices, and in the third place you would have seven choices, and so on, and that was our nine factorial. But that's when the objects were distinguishable. You could tell them apart. So what we do now is we divide by the number of distinguishable, indistinguishable objects. So I see that I have two white flags that are indistinguishable. So I'm going to divide by two factorial. And there are three red flags that are indistinguishable, so I'm going to divide by another 3 factorial. And you can see where this is going. I have 4 green flags that are indistinguishable, so I'm dividing by 4 factorial. And that would be your answer. And uh, I'm not going to compute this, you could figure that out, but this is often what they're looking for in a probability class. So in general, when you have n objects and a certain number of groups of them are indistinguishable, the formula is n factorial divided by however many are in the first group factorial times however many are in the second group factorial times how many are in the third group factorial and this would go on for however many groups you have that are indistinguishable okay and that's it I uh, hope you found it helpful